Why do I think that it makes a lot of sense to send vulnerability data from, a, from your scanner into QReader? Well, to explain that, let me go into a typical type of attack. And the attack goes through your IPS and reaches that host that has a vulnerability that the attacker looks to exploit from out there. If the guy that created the DSM for the IPS did the right job, it assigned a high level category to the particular attack. So let's say that this attack is actually a SQL injection or an OLE exploitation or a SMB, whatever. So at the DSM or parser, that's the curator name for a parser, that attack gets a sign of exploit or potential exploit, if that is the nature of that particular type of attack. The IPSs are very good and the position that they are in the network to detect these type of things. But it also gets assigned a low level category like potential window exploit. I mean, th there are very many of them in the curator taxonomy. Now, what is the point here? The vulnerable, no, the scanner knows what is vulnerable, but it doesn't know what is being exploited. The IPS knows what is being attempted to be exploited or exploited, but it doesn't know what's vulnerable. That's what QRadar uh, does. So when those logs get and actually flows, because QRadar receives them both uh, from IPSs, uh, when those are sent into QRadar and QRadar parses them, and it sees that the, that particular host has a vulnerability of the kind of th that, that the high and low level category inform, and Curator gets that information from the metadata that is on every vulnerability. We don't see them, but actually you can inspect them and see that there's a ton of valuable information in there. Well, Curator connects the dots and actually fires an offense, very important one, that indicates, looks like a vulnerability that you left behind has been exploited. Let me show you some examples of that. So here I have two of those examples. The uh, destination is vulnerable to a detected exploit, a script, predict, whatever, and I have another one here for an SMB1 type of exploitation. If we go into the particular offense, we see that only two events came, and, uh, and actually one of them, I believe, it is uh, the, an event that got dispatched when the offense uh, fired. But if we take a look at the rule, we see that the rule, and this is a standard rule in Curator, basically reads, well, I see that there is an exploit or potential exploit, and that comes from the category from the DSM. Uh, importantly enough, this is coming from either within your network, local to local, or from the outside in. That's important. And if those two conditions are met, then we look for the third one and say, and the destination is vulnerable to current exploit on any port. And that's what makes this offense fire. I think that this is a very important uh, thing to have in your system because some vulnerabilities are left behind. There's no doubt about it. But if you have the right IPS information and the right vulnerability data information sent to Curator, Curator can connect the dots and alert you when these things happen.